Hey guys, uh, sticking with aircraft again this week, albeit significantly smaller than the last subject we looked at. This week we'll be looking at Tiger Models P40 Warhawk kit. Let's open her on up and take a look. Now this is less of a skilled aircraft kit and more of you know, a for fun type of deformed aircraft. Starting off, we've got our prop, landing gear, wheels, and a couple other odd and in detail pieces, including our tail gear and our control stick. We also next have up our clear part. Uh, sight being obviously a deformed cartoonish shape, the casting on it is quite nice, very clear. Uh, Nice, pleasant surprise there. Next up, we've got more of the meat of the kit with our two fuselage halves, our upper wing halves, and uh, two parts of the tail, the drop tank, and the landing gear. Now, interesting enough, they've got the ailerons as separate parts. That was a little bit interesting choice there. Uh, or there's not really that much detail as it's meant more to be cartoony, as I said. But all the same, casting quality is quite nice. Um, would have been nice had they had the uh, exhaust not exhaust as separate parts, just so you can do a little more with them. But overall, it's quite nice, and it does have the shape of the P40, which what we want. But as I said, and hopefully this is showing up on camera. Surface detail is quite nice. Uh, only issue I found was what feels like a little bit of mold release agent still left on the parts. So that is something to be aware of. You might want to give them a good uh, washing before you start working on. Last up, as far as the sprues go, we have our bottom wing have with all the fixings there. A surprisingly nicely detailed instrument panel. Those Pleasantly surprised there, as well as the rest of the cockpit parts, as well as and a few other odd and end detailing parts. Uh, overall, it was quite surprising. Now, this particular version also comes with a little cartoon dog pilot figure. I'm keeping it in the bag just because I don't want it to get damaged. But overall, the casting on him is quite nice, and it would definitely add a nice little added <laughs> vibe to the kit. Moving on to the decals. They're a little on the thick side, but they're very sharp and have great register. So that is something to be aware of. And so be prepared to bust out the decal setting solutions for this guy. Now, interestingly enough, they also include a sheet of stick stickers if you want to use those instead. So that's a nice inclusion if you're going to be giving this to a younger model or who may not be experienced with that. Uh, lastly, as far as decals go, uh, we got a sheet of decals for the pilot figure as if you were an us, a volunteer pilot. Now, getting into instructions, there's no real surprises here as this is a more basic uh, kit. You know, basic cockpit build up, and from there it's almost falls together. Uh, you only get one marking option though, so you may need to get creative if you want to do something else, but personally, I, I think this is more than enough for this guy. So, overall, this kit, why it is on the simplistic side, does do a lot of things right. You know, it doesn't overcomplicate, it knows what it's trying to do, and it does it quite well. And with the exception of the mold release, in a little more cleaning, it's a good kit. You know, it's a little pricey as a, they run about 30 bucks, which for what you get is a little steep, but for a junior modeler or someone's may have a little bit of model experience and looking for something 
a little more challenging definitely have to recommend this one even if you can't get one that does come with the figure as i think they're for most part been sold out but definitely one to consider so that was a look at uh tiger models p40 warhawk kit nice little kit despite the fact that it is on the simplistic side still retains a lot of value for those who want a bit more and still provides a good entry point into the hobby until next time